Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 116 of the Iron Man series and please enjoy today's episode. Awesome, awesome. While I was editing episode 115, I uh, slowly crept up and got 94 fishing. So prepping up so much of these anglerfish, man. As for fishing, 827k, basically 295. The clue score RNG is coming in clutch. That's all I needed to get myself a master clue, so thank you very much. So I just got the master clue, Fletcher Rune Dart. Now I have the fletching level, but I got no rune darts. I need to get 89 smithing, and I can boost at 84. Luckily for me, I'm only 50k away from 84 smithing, so let's do it. We finished up. I can make a uh, Addy two handed sword too. This is number 19 Master Clue. Pretty good value, man. Half a mil. I'll take that, you know. Really, man? So, a lot of people ask me where I get my gems from nowadays, and it's not from mining. All the gems that you see now that are uncut are from raids, and I've gone a thousand pluses more. It's just I've cut them already. Uh, basically, if you do raids consistently every day, especially on Iron Man, you get a shit ton of gems that will come in large packets of crafting experience, you know? Alright, let me check my kill count for the demonics now. 1747. Okay, so I am basically over 700 uh, kills dry of the Xanites. Clear. I think we're closing in at 800. So good. What? My butler. Yo, what are you doing, my butler? Hello? Alright, man, ignore me. I'm gonna fire you anyways. Yo, what is this? Dude, this scavenger is glitched. To the max, dude. Holy hell. He can't even move. Can I still get the drops, though? Oh, I can. Alright. Just got 81 mining, guys. Four more levels to go, and then I hit my goal of 85. Of course, it's gonna take quite a bit, but yeah. Mother load. Some nice AFK for me, whenever I need it. Awesome, awesome, guys. Coming in with another level up. Except this time, fletching. 91 now, so I just need two more to go, and I can finally make those dragon javelins. Oh, baby. Okay, well, I got a ballista spring. I'm um, closing in at 1900 KC now. A nice, just hit 96 cooking. And uh, yeah, wow, three levels. And so, basically, uh, 99 cooking. Well, I guess you will be seeing another non-combat 99 soon. All these supplies that I've gone from like AFKing over you know the many months and just from bossing uh, definitely is gonna allow me to reach a few 99s man for sure. Alright Gorge map has a dragon impling spotted. I might as well get it. Okay let's uh, see what it is. Oh nice dude. Arrow tips man. That's nice. Uh, useful for the future twisted bow. Okay. I forgot to price check. Look at this, dude. Two hundred k. I mean, these arrow tips are really nice for dragon arrows. So, yep. There we go. Got this clue from Armadale trip. Okay. Got vamp braces, got thicks, and samurai stole. All right. Let's see if I have them all. Yeah, I do actually. Three and three. Wow. Alright, last trip, and I am closing in on 200 Armadale KC, so at this point, I am super confident in my ability to get consistent Armadale kill trips now, like, basically, I get no less than 10 all the time, and uh, it seems that, usually, as you can tell, the reason I have to leave is because I run out of prayer, so I might just end up putting, you know, one more prayer pot in there or something, try to get an extra kill. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you at 300 kills soon, probably. Oh my god! How? How is this possible? Okay, I just don't want to feel dumb. I, I really need to confirm the rate of these heavy frames, because I have five now. I have five heavy frames. They're one in 1,500, so I have five of them. So that means 
It takes, on average, 7,500 kills to get 5 heavy frames. And I'm about to be at 2,000. Wow. What is this? I don't even know how many I got anymore because I, I know I got so many of these goddamn drops. There are a lot of streamers, YouTubers use- OH MY GOD! YES! YES! Oh! Oh yeah baby, come here you. Oh man, I am out. Where's my teleport? Oh I don't have any. You see, I was gonna like just quit because this is actually my second trip. I normally just do one. How many kills was it? Wow, okay. 1,985 gorilla kills, man, for my fourth Xena shard. I ain't gonna talk smack about, you know, the dryness of this because I'm just glad I got it, you know? Now I am motivated to get this uh, last two crafting levels, man. In a second, I'll show you guys my crafting supply and uh, just see whether or not I am already ready to just get it done. So let's talk about how I'm gonna get these last two uh, crafting levels for this torture. I'm gonna go through all of these, you know, uncut gems. Uh, I still have quite a bit. And then I'm also gonna spin these uh, last 8,000 flags. And uh, as for the rest of the experience, I am basically just gonna be doing charter ship uh, glass blowing method. Uh, instead of banking the supplies, I just buy them and then I turn them into, you know, the molten glass. I blow them and then I just sell to the store no banking and I just keep doing that uh, I believe the rate goes from anywhere you know around like 70k or more and uh, that is gonna be like the fastest way that I can uh, go about crafting because I just want to get done fast I could do battle styles but like it's very slow because of all the prepping I need and I don't need the money as you can see I have 9 mil GP and then in uh, alcohols where is it and then in alcohols look at this it's like another 40 mil in there somewhere, so I'm not in, in need of money, so I'd rather just get the crafting done ASAP, so. I got this bad boy from some demonic gorillas, so uh, here we go. Okay, we got some more ancient pages. Wow, 400k reward. Here we go, got it. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Woo! Yeah, boy, it is not a dragon sword sword. Screw you guys. 219 Ray KC later. Oh, baby, I get to lock this. Yes. Oh, my God. I was wondering when I was going to get an arcane prayer scroll. We get RNG day, yo. Came back strong. Zenite, and then two raids later, arcane prayer scroll. Oh, my God. Yes. I am just gonna unlock Augury like right away dude, like ASAP Rocky. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, you can make out some faded words on the ancient parchment. It appears to be an archaic invocation of the gods. Would you like to absorb its power? Mm. That sounds delicious bro. Thank you very much. I will definitely unlock that bad boy. Come here you. Augury! Increase your magical attack and defense by 25% and your defense by 25%. So, um, it actually doesn't obviously increase your damage, which is a shame in a way, but not really, or else it'd be kind of overpowered, but yeah, 25% uh, more magic accuracy and magic defense, which is a huge upgrade, you know, from the Mystic Might, do 10% increase in accuracy and also the defense, that's, that's really good. So, um, mainly I'm going to be using this at home, obviously, and uh, yeah, I don't think I will be really splashing that much, if ever. So yeah, this is going to be a big, big help at raids, man. This is amazing, though. Well, completed the prayer book, so uh, yeah, that's great. So the Arcane Prayer Scroll that I got today is actually my fourth ever soul race item. My first ever soul race item is the Ancestral Roll Top. My second one is the Dragon Harpoon. And my third one is the Dragon Claws. And today, you know, we uh, ended up getting this fourth one. So that's just amazing. This is really why I continue to do soul raids. Like I'll be honest with you, soul raids isn't that efficient. You're basically better off just doing it with a team of experienced players, because uh, you can get the raids done a lot quicker, and yeah, the points you know are scaled properly as well. Just the idea of achieving big drops from raids all by yourself is so much more meaningful in a sense. That's why I'm you know just gonna keep doing 
a uh, balance of solo raids and group raids because yeah you never know you might just get your next item off of a solo so yeah just very proud of uh, all these items so far so what is left on this account in terms of goals if you didn't already know i guess i'll reiterate it so i'm trying to finish this god wars dungeon set i just need two more items at armadillo the hilt and the uh, helmet and then we're done with god wars and uh i want to very soon work on corporal beast so when is corporal beast i don't really have like a eta yet but i'm just gonna say soon ideally i want to you know get this torture amulet done and i also want to go for a tyrannical reign because uh, it's really important okay it'll just make uh, doing corp a bit more convenient so i'll explain more when i actually get to that part and of course the raids you know i'm just gonna be doing raids because i'm addicted to that and there's still so many more lucrative drops that we can get from it so in terms of like the rng uh, moments in the videos i know that uh, recently i've just been getting a lot of drops uh, mainly at raids and i admit i'm really lucky at raids right now and let me just tell you that i probably cannot keep up you know with this raids rng somewhere down the line i'm gonna go super dry it's uh, bound to happen you know you can't just stay this lucky like forever so i admit that uh, what I'm trying to say is that don't expect every video to be like studded with like crazy draws because I know that these past few videos has just been like insane with RNG. So yeah, I just don't want people thinking that every time I will video, it's gonna be like insane drops. You know, Rice Cup new video, old man, every four days, five days, he just gets these drops all the time. No, don't don't think about it like that. Anyways, I will see you guys later with another video in a few days, guys. Take care.